Hi everybody, today we're going to install the Firefly iTunes server for your DNS 323. Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So a couple of weeks ago, I did an overview of firmware version 1.08 for the DNS 323. And one of the coolest features is that you can add new applications to the DNS 323 using little software packages. So the one that I want to show you today is called Firefly, and it's a replacement for the built-in iTunes server. This is the integrated iTunes server. As you can see, it's pretty basic. Now let's install Firefly and check out how it differs from the old server. You can find the Firefly add-on by pointing your browser to support.dlink.com, then entering DNS323 into the search field. Once the 323's page loads up, click Additional Downloads. Now scroll down. Select the Firefly package to download and save it someplace easy to find, then uncompress the file. Now log into your DNS323, click the Advanced tab at the top of the page, and the Add-ons button to the left. In the middle of the screen, you'll see a button labeled Choose File under the Application Package heading. Click this button and navigate to our uncompressed download. Now just click Apply to add Firefly capabilities. If this is your first add-on pack, you will see a new heading called Add-on Summary. Under this heading, you should see a green Start button. When you click this, the green check mark to the left should light up. Well, so now we have Firefly installed and turned on, so let's go ahead and see what this new server can do. If you click the Advanced tab and then the iTunes Server button, you will notice that what we showed at the beginning is no longer there. Instead, there is a button labeled Launch Interface. Click this button to launch Firefly. The first thing we're going to do is click the Configuration link to the left. The first option is if you want to set a music password to your collection to keep things safe. If you want to use a different language, select one from the MP3 tag code page drop-down. The next option down is asking where your music files are stored. You will want to enter the path to where your music files are located. iTunes can play many different types of files. Depending on what you have in your collection, you can add the file extension here with a comma separator. Under scan type, choose how deep you want the server to search for and in your music collection. Rescan interval is how often the server should look for new files, which is tied to the last option. Always scan forces the server to look for new data however often you want. Now that Firefly is installed and set up, it's going to serve music and movies to any computer or device that runs iTunes. But there's one more feature that I wanted to go over real quick with you, and that's Smart Playlists. There are too many options for me to cover here in this video, but Firefly has its own help file and its own online wiki that goes over everything that I don't. Click the Smart Playlist link on the left, then click the Add New Playlist link below, then select Wizard. Now you just select the criteria you want to use and what that should be, such as genre, artist, etc. Then close the wizard and press Create. Well, there you have it, a better iTunes server that gives you more control over your iTunes music and movie collection, Firefly. So that's going to do it for this episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.